The apostles consistently talk about some great event that's just over the horizon. Some big event is about to happen. They say it's going to happen soon. The end of all things is at hand, Peter says. It's the last hour, John says. And in Revelation, John says that the things he's seeing in vision are about to happen. They're going to happen shortly. They're going to happen soon. Well, where do the apostles get this? Where do they get this consistent theme of a catastrophic event happening within their lifetimes? The obvious answer is that they get it from Jesus. All the apostles believe this because Jesus taught them this. And he taught it primarily, but though not exclusively, he taught it primarily in what we know as the Olivet Discourse, which is in each of the first three Gospels, Matthew 24, Mark 13, Luke 21, all basically have the same teaching from Jesus. And what Jesus is talking about is not the end of the world. He's not talking about the end of the space-time universe. He's talking about the end of a world that he said is going to happen within the generation of the apostles. Before this generation passes, all these things will take place, Jesus says. Christians sometimes get confused and they think Jesus must be talking about the end of the space-time universe because he uses language like the stars are going to blink out, the stars are going to fall from the sky, the, the moon is going to turn to blood, the sun is going to go black. And that sounds like it's a catastrophic cosmic event. But Jesus is borrowing standard prophetic language when he talks like that standard prophetic language that talks about the collapse of an imperial world of a world order by talking about the collapse of a physical universe. We know from Genesis 1 that sun, moon, and stars are lights and rulers in the sky. When stars fall, that means rulers are falling. When the moon is turned to blood, that means a ruler is being eclipsed. The sun, moon, and stars are also clocks. They keep time. And when they stop operating, that means that somebody's clock has stopped, the time is up. That's the meaning of the imagery that Jesus uses. And everything else he's talking about is about the collapse of the temple, the end of a system centered on the temple. All that's going to happen within the generation of the apostles. And that's why all of the apostles continue to teach that. All the way through the New Testament, they're simply repeating what they learned from Jesus on um, the Mount of Olives. And John sees visions in the book of Revelation that are a book-length expansion of the Olivet Discourse.